Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, January 11th, 2018. So it's Friday. Everyone loves Friday. I know I love Friday. Friday is one of those days that just makes a guy happy because we know we get a little bit of rest, a little bit of break. Yesterday, I mentioned in the market that um, the market needed a little bit of rest, and I still believe the market needs a little bit of rest, but those doggone bulls had another plan in mind. They were very tenacious yesterday, pushing out the fifth straight day up in the market, the first time since that has occurred since September. So a uh, really nice um, uh, fight back by the market yesterday. The bulls, um, every time we saw a little bit of push down, and there was some, some moments where it looked like profit takers could take over. If we look at a short-term chart here on the 15 minute you can see we did have those those pushbacks those times in the in the market where it looked like first we gapped down rallied up and then we saw that pushback coming into the market but the bulls just would not be denied yesterday pushing that market higher and really tucking us right into this resistance here on uh, the Dow so right up there tucked into that resistance if we take a look at our moving averages you can see we just barely breached over that 34 exponential moving average and we still obviously have the potential of reaching up here toward that 50-day moving average so even though I think the market um, is ready for a rest or pullback we cannot deny the fact that there may be a push or an attack to move up toward that 50-day moving average in the Dow before they finally take a rest who knows I want to be a little bit cautious uh, about chasing the market this late in to the its rally we've rallied 2254 points in the dow in 11 days that's stretching that rubber band really really tight and the opportunity um, certainly exists that profit takers may come in and pull this back and the other thing that raises just a little bit of question in my mind is is when the market rallies this much i, I look for a reason why what, what's changed and if we take a look out there uh, certainly one could say there's been progress in the uh, U.S. China trade negotiations, but there has been no resolution. And um, as of this morning, we are now entering our 21st day in uh, our federal government shutdown. And as we head into the weekend, there is no resolution in sight um, on that issue. So right now, um, not a whole lot has changed. The uncertainty is still spinning out there. So I'm kind of questioning, you know, why the bulls are so tenacious here with that uncertainty uh, still out there and kind of heading into the risk of the weekend. Now this morning we see the futures are just really flat. Um, right now they're down, as I'm recording this, they're down 22 points. But they're basically flat. Nothing nothing really happening here uh, this morning. Really, really quiet. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful and cautious how we approach the morning. We're going to have to watch carefully to see if those bulls happen to step in and break through that resistance, start heading up there toward that 50-day moving average, we could see a burst of buying if that if that occurs. And at the same time, we'll have to be very watchful for the possibility that some profit taking will come in, and that could accelerate toward uh, the afternoon, um, just because of the risk of the weekend. Now. If we can hold off in here, if we can um, rest in this range, and, I, and I, I'm going to go ahead and put this range up a little bit higher. If we can rest in this range and, and hold on in here, maybe wander around a little bit, that would be a really good sign for me for the market, a little consolidation, a little calming effect in the volatility of the market. But we'll have to wait and see. And right now, those bulls just seem very, very tenacious, and they just don't don't want to give up um, even though I'm not seeing the reason why so much that that is the case let's take a look at the spy SPY doing the same thing getting a nice little push up here 
really tucking itself tightly against that price resistance area up here. And um, again, uh, no visible signs yet that the bulls are ready to uh, give this up. And again, this morning we're looking pretty flat. Now, of course, we have our downtrend line here that we are pushing up toward. And so we could see those bulls push up toward that area. And if you look at that 50 day moving average, that's about where we're going to have to go if we're going, going to attack that 50 day moving average. So is that possible? I'm going to say yes. I think it is possible that that could occur, that we could still push on higher here, even though we are pretty darn stretched in this market let's take a look at the cues <clears throat> Q's managing to break out of this downtrend line that I put in here and holding right now, holding that as support. That's a good sign, I think, for the market. But I do, once again, believe that we are quite stretched here. Doesn't mean we can't continue to stretch. Doesn't mean that um, we can't continue to go up. Obviously, the bulls want to move higher, and so they could be there. I just want to be really, really careful and watchful for that possibility that that rest that pullback could begin at any time. So just be a little bit cautious about chasing uh, too many things or over committing long um, at the moment before we get that, that little rest in the market. Let's talk about IWM real quickly. IWM also breaking that current downtrend. Now, obviously, we have a, a high up here where we, where we broke through that. Could we, could we draw this downtrend here? Yes. We definitely could, but um, I get more touches to this first line, and so I would like to um, use that area right now for our trend. But you know, anything is possible in here. Anything is absolutely possible in here. So we'll want to watch that closely. Again, IWM still has a really clear resistance zone right here, and a push up into there um, does not seem unlikely at all pushing up toward that level. But keep in mind, if we start to pull back, we have a nice support level in here as well. So just a little bit of range uh, bound um, action would be really nice to get that consolidation, that little bit of rest. We'll have to wait and see if that occurs. Once again, those moving averages, you can see we're really, really close to pushing that 50 day moving average here on IWM, just a tremendous recovery um, in this chart and any rest or pullback or failure at that 50 day moving average uh, does seem possible. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX once again tried to poke up yesterday, tried to move a little bit higher at one point in time, but those tenacious bulls ended up pushing that back down. Fear uh, continuing to drift out of this market. We're at about a 1950 handle, so below 20 handle here in the VIX. That's a good sign. And once again, I'm going to suggest that there is a little bit of price support in here. And of course, a major price support down in this area. And if we continue to pull back in here, that's a good thing for the market. And obviously, a really good thing for those of us that are option traders um, to start reducing that implied volatility um, in the those option prices. Um, of course, we want to be watchful if the if profit takers do start coming in, that pushback up toward this resistance level. As long as we don't break out of that resistance level, I think we're in pretty good shape uh, going forward here. Let's take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. You know, this is where I have a major concern. As you can see, whoops, I got that on a three day. There we go. There's the daily chart of uh, the um, T2122. We are really stretched up here. We are approaching uh, 100. And as you can see, if I were to uh, mark where we closed yesterday, it is well above any of these price highs through here um, in this stretch. So this stretch has really pulled that rubber band very, very tight. Um, any pullback at any time seems possible to me. So I would be really watchful and focused on that price action. Be careful not to overcommit long just in case that profit taking does start to happen. It will happen eventually. We know it will happen. And the longer we stay stretched up here and, and keep pushing that limit, the the 
the rougher that pullback might become. So just be careful. Um, let's take a look at the economic calendar for today. Economic calendar, we have... Um, at 8.30 this morning before the market opens, we have the CPI number. That obviously can move the market around substantially. So kind of keep an eye on that CPI number. And then Baker Hughes rig count, uh, that usually doesn't do anything for us at all today uh, or uh, move the market around really. And then we have the Treasury budget at 2 p.m. Unlikely that that really does much to move the market around. On the earnings calendar today, we only have eight companies reporting earnings. And um, so nice calm day uh, as far as that goes. Um, INFY is one of those companies reporting this morning and it looks like they have reported well gapping up this morning looking pretty good so that's really the only notable one this morning um, that I could see in the list so we have some great charts out there, some really great charts out there. Um, I have been mentioning Huntsman um, for a couple three days now and um, I I did take a position in Huntsman. Um, whoops, let me get to this chart. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I wanted to go to this chart. Um, um, Huntsman is a really nice, uh, what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern where you can see price breaking above the 50, all of those moving averages closing in to cross through that 50, creating a bit of a moving average squeeze right in here. It's a great pattern and that's looking uh, good at least at the moment. Um, um, and it's nice to always get immediate profits on a trade um, that you enter into. So that's looking good. And there's a lot of these patterns starting to show up out there. I mentioned yesterday, uh, Snap. Um, Snap is one setting up for that kind of a trade pattern. Needs a little bit of rest, a little bit of backing and filling in here. This little pink line happens to be my alert uh, for the price action of the chart. If we can pop up through there, I'll be very interested in that. I'm see seeing the same kind of pattern in lots of different places um, out there. There's just really good signs of bottoming action occurring in the market um, all over the place. Uh, stocks like JD looking very good, breaking that downtrend, that nice moving average squeeze in here. Any rest consolidation in here could set up a um, an entry into JD. Uh, Facebook doing the same kind of thing, breaking higher through that 50, those moving averages creating that nice level of support in here. And and showing signs of strength. So lots of good charts to be looking at, lots of good charts to be putting on your watch list and preparing for that next trade. Um, I would be really careful about chasing um, into this um, uh, rally right now, just in case that pullback does start to happen. And be careful about the risk of this weekend with the uncertainty still continuing to spin out there. We want to be a um, little bit cautious on loading up too much heading into the weekend in case we get that reaction lower uh, by by next Monday. So be be watchful, but off um, for sure. Be preparing that watch list. Um, prepping your charts. Being prepared for those next trade entries. If we do get rests consolidations, pullbacks in these trades, these could certainly start to set up to look very nice for um, nice swing and even position trades um, in the very near future. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits today. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much for those who do take the time to do that. It means a lot to me. And I want to say a big thank you to everyone. We just reached over uh, 2,500 subscribers on the YouTube channel um, yesterday. Thank you so much for everyone who participates, supporting this channel, leaving those comments, clicking those thumbs up buttons. That does make a difference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, 
Also, always feel free to share this video with any friends and family. So with that, everyone, have a great day. And more, more importantly than that, have an awesome weekend. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.